Hi, my name is Xinging Lim. I'm the Staff Training and Development Specialist here in Illumina. Today, I'll be walking you through the steps of setting up a run on the Novosig X+. It's really so easy and quick to sequence and analyze whole human genomes at scale nowadays. You can plan your run directly on the instrument with the Novosig X control software or on base base sequence hub if your Novosig X is connected to the cloud. The run planning steps are the same, regardless of the method you choose. Begin run planning by clicking on the Create Run button. In the Run Settings page, please key in your desired run name. For a FASTQ file compression format, I would recommend selecting Dragon if human genomes are being sequenced. Dragon will compress the FASTQ files into a highly efficient Dragon Aura format, which will significantly reduce the amount of hard disk drive space and data transfer times. For this demo run, we will be performing a 2x151 pet end sequencing with 10 cycles for each index 1 and 2. Clicking Next will bring us to the Analysis Configuration page. The application drop-down menu gives you the option to choose the Dragon pipeline you wish to analyze your sequence libraries with. Dragon B-Cell Convert, which creates FASTQ and Dragon FASTQC metrics. Dragon Enrichment for targeted resequencing applications. Dragon Germline for whole genome applications. And finally, Dragon RNA for differential gene expression and fusion detection at the transcriptome level. Under Library Prep Kit, I will select the Library Prep Kit used to create the library pool I'm sequencing. This is followed by selecting the index adapter kit used to barcode the library. Since this is a Dragon germline pipeline, the sequence reads will be aligned against a reference genome. Clicking Next will bring us to the second part of analysis configuration. The next analysis configuration to select is the desired variant caller. Selecting All will instruct Dragon to perform small variant caller, structural variant caller, copy number variants, repeat expansions, CYP2D6, and regions of homozygosity. If you're only interested in small variants like SNVs or short indels, select small. Scrolling down, you can find a table to key in a list of samples and their assigned barcodes that are used to generate the library pool. You can type in the sample information manually row by row. Clicking on the plus button creates more rows to fill in additional samples. Another way of entering sample information, which is helpful for large number of samples, is to import the information in bulk using a sample list template that can be downloaded here. Open up the template with your favorite spreadsheet editor and then upload the completed sample list by clicking on the Import Samples button. Once imported, please scroll through the sample list to check the fidelity of the information. The next analysis setting is the Map Align Output Format. Select CRAM to generate compressed alignment maps that take up less space on the hard disk drive. Select Keep FASTQ files if you wish to have FASTQ files available after analysis is complete. Clicking Next brings us to the Run Review page where we can check and edit the run and analysis configurations if required. One amazing feature I really love is the ability to configure multiple analysis configurations on a single flow cell by clicking on this Add Another Configuration button. This means added flexibility because each lane of the flow cell can be analyzed with a different Dragon pipeline. Once run configurations are confirmed, click Saved as planned. This brings us back to the Runs dashboard where you will see the run we just planned. That's how easy you perform run planning on the Novosig X+. Plus. We are now ready to prepare the libraries and consumables for sequencing. What I really like is that all reagents and consumables are shipped at ambient temperature, which means no more heavy boxes of gel packs and dry ice to deal with. All reagents and consumables can be used for sequencing right out of the shipping boxes. After denaturing your libraries into single strands with sodium hydroxide, dilute the denatured library pool with the provided preload buffer. Remove the cap of the library tube strip and place both the tube strip and its cap on the provided tube strip adapter. Load denatured and diluted library pools into the library tube strip and put the cap back on. Insert the library tube strip into the reagent cartridge. The Lyo insert contains lyophilized XM and SBS reagents, and being lyophilized makes them stable enough for shipping at ambient temperatures. Insert into the reagent cartridge. That's all there is to it. 
we are now ready to set up the run on the Novasig X+. Plus. Let's begin by setting up a dual flow cell run on the Novasig X+. Plus. And since I'm setting up a dual flow cell run, I'm going to be clicking on A plus B because we are sequencing on both the sites A and B. I'll be running demo run 1 on site A and demo run 2 on site B. Take a moment to review the run parameters to make sure that correct run parameters are set for your run. If everything is okay, you can proceed to click on load consumables. The first thing to load will be loading our flow cells. Before that, I will remove the two used flow cells that were used in the previous run. We will be sequencing with the 10B flow cell. Don't let the compact footprint of the flow cell fool you. The increased cluster density on the Novasig X flow cell allows this compact flow cell to generate more than 10 billion passing filter reads. And I'll just load the flow cell onto the flow cell stage. Now that both flow cells have been loaded onto the flow cell stage, click on close flow cell door. The Novasig X Plus will now be reading the RFID information. Now it's time to load the reagents and buffers. The Novasig X Plus is now placing the consumables in a safe state before opening up the doors. We open up the doors all the way. We pull up the drawer. First, we'll remove used buffer cartridge, wash cartridge. Now, I'll load the brand new buffer cartridge followed by the reagent cartridge we prepared earlier. We are done with side A. It's also good to open up the waste drawers and make sure that the waste bottles, both of them, are empty. If they're not, please dispose the hazardous waste into the hazardous waste container in your lab. We're done with site A, we'll do the same thing with site B. Now that everything is loaded, we can close the doors. Confirming that we have already checked that the used reagent bottles have been emptied. Once the instruments have read the RFID tag of the buffer cartridge and the reagent cartridge, you'll be good to verify your run and consumables lot and serial numbers on the screen here. If everything looks okay, you can go ahead and start the run. Right now, the Novasig X Plus is conducting pre-run checks. Once pre-run checks complete, cluster generation and sequencing will start and you'll be completed in under 24 hours. Best of all, onboard dragon analysis will kickstart automatically. Connecting your run with Illumina's Base Space Sequence Hub makes it so easy to monitor the progress of the sequencing run from wherever you are. Welcome to the genome era.